Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. I'm Tanisha Davis. This is Fun and Budget, where we talk about all things budgets and finances and money while keeping it fun, okay? So in this video, oh my goodness, I am doing a first. I'm doing a first, first, first. I am going to do a savings challenge. I got this challenge from my girl, Rochelle Adamson Budgets. And when she was going over different saving challenges for the new year for 2021, I said, you know what? This one challenge she talked about really resonated with me. And that challenge is Mega Monopoly Savings Challenge. Now. I'm, re I'm remixing mine and I'm calling it Mega Monopoly, even though I'm going to play it on a regular, smegular Monopoly board. The reason why I'm calling it Mega is because I'm ignoring all of the money amounts that are on the board and I am working with my own money amounts. And this is what makes it Mega. Now, let me tell you guys the game that we're going to play, that y'all going to play with me, and maybe you guys can do something similar in your lives and remember that you can custom tailor this baby for you. Rules are simple. In Monopoly, the Monopoly board, if we take a look at it, you will see that the board has six main breakdowns. Or at least six ways we're going to break this board down, okay? And so what I decided to do was come up with six areas in my life that are important to me that I can save for. Six things, okay? Now, the way we're breaking this down is going to be each, each side of the board has two colors. So the first color has 11 spots. So there's 11 spots, opportunities that if I roll the dice that I can land on a first color. And then there is a second color. And once again, the second color has 11 spots. So again, it's 11 opportunities to land on it. Then the next thing we're going to do, we're going to break it down the community and the chance spots on the board. The community and chance spots, there's six spots there. And then the next breakdown will be railroads. The railroads, there's four spots there. Then there's utilities, which has two spots. And then there's luxury and income tax that has two spots. Okay? Okay, so let's take a look at this. Let's break this down. Again, each side of the Monopoly board has two colors, right? A first color and a second color. Now, I'm going to give these things, I'm going to list these in my order of importance. So for this first color, the first thing I care about is my mortgage. If I land on the first color on any side of the board, that means that the money will go toward my mortgage. This first color has 11 spots, okay? The second thing I care about is savings. Simply because for me, savings is that catch-all. It's that thing that, A, not only if something pops up, what do you need to fund it? But also if an op opportunity pops up, what will you need to fund it? The second color also has 11 spots. The next thing on the board is the community and chance spaces. I'm going to give this the assignment to my Tesla. Hear me out. The reason why the Tesla is going to be um, the third thing that's important to me is because my car is now out of warranty. So what this means is that anything that goes wrong with it from here on out, I have to finance. If a door handle doesn't present, if a dashboard doesn't light up, if a light goes out, if a, I don't even know, it's nothing going to be with an engine because it doesn't have an engine. It doesn't have a transmission. It doesn't have parts like that, but it does have a lot of little electrical, electronic, yeah, little electronic 
things. Like it's a big computer, right? So I knew that with this warranty going out, I'm going to have to start financing it. So therefore, the thing with six spots, if I land on one of those things, a community or chance spot, the money goes to my Tesla fund. This has six spaces, okay? The next thing on the board is the railroad spots. I am going to assign this new TV. Y'all, my TV died. I need a new TV. I need a new TV. Now, Agency era budgets. Try to tell me TVs only cost like five hundred. I don't want five hundred dollar TV. I want a TV that costs all the money. <laughs> I don't even know what TVs cost these days. But the thing about it is, I tell people all the time, I don't buy new stuff often. I really don't. When it's time for me to buy something new, and it's because usually it breaks, and I really need something new. I will then start researching and I try to buy the best of the best because I know I'm not going to buy another one for another 15 years. I had this TV for 12 years, 12 years. Okay. So four spots gives me four opportunities to fund my TV account. Okay. Next on the board is utilities. I am going to assign this to my Baltic Seas Vacation. This here only has two opportunities to land on this. Now, this money isn't to pay for the cruise because I'm going to pay for that anyway. The money is going to go towards spending money for the cruise, okay? And the last thing on the board is the Luxury and Income Tax. And I am going to assign this to my Australia and New Zealand vacations. And this only has two slots as well. Okay. Then as you guys know who are Monopoly aficionados, we also have four more spots on this board. Here's the rules for the four spots. The four spots are free parking, go to jail, Collect 200 and just visit in. Okay? What's gonna happen is if I roll and if I land on any of these four spots, one, I have to obey the rule for that spot, which I'm about to tell you the rule, but two, I also have to roll again. Okay? So I gotta obey it and then I roll again and land somewhere else on the board. Okay? So the free parking is gonna equal. For me to move to a space of my choice. For those of you who know me, you probably already know what a space of my choice is going to be. And that space is probably going to be something that will send more money to my mortgage. Okay. And then if I land on go to jail, what's going to happen is for that month, I will not be allowed. Or for the remainder of that month, let's say. Because right now today is January 8th that I'm playing this game. So for the remainder of the month, it means that I cannot go to my beloved McDonald's. Okay? Or let's say, you know what, let's make it a month. Let's make it from the time I play to the time I play again. Because we're only going to play this once a month, guys. Okay? Um, the next thing is going to be collect 200. If I land on collect 200, I will do a channel giveaway. Now, the channel giveaway is not going to be $200. The channel giveaway is going to be, it could be anything. It could be something that I will mail out to a giveaway winner, or it could be, I don't know, it could be anything, but there will be a channel giveaway. If I land on just visiting, that will have me, I will fund their vacation. So either my Baltic Seas vacation or my Australia, New Zealand vacation. Um, so, what are we doing? We're going to play this game. As I said, we're going to play this game once a month. We're going to roll two times while we're playing. The two times are going to represent the two pay periods that I have in a month. Each pay period or each roll is going to equal $250. So, when I roll and I land on something, whatever I land on gets funded $250. Then I roll again. Whatever I land on gets funded $250. Now, there's two months 
this year that I will be rolling three times because I get paid three times that month. So that will be instead of $500 total for the month, it'll be $750. So when we add all of this up, I will be saving $6,500 or I'll be funding $6,500 to one of these six things, okay? And I say it's actually going to be $650 plus depending on if I land on those four free spots where I have to roll again and fund whatever I'm landing on plus obey whatever that spot represents. Y'all got it? Y'all got it. Okay. Let's get ready to play. Okay, y'all got the rules? And can y'all see? <laughs> We're going to start on go. Can y'all see? And I'm using the boat piece. Y'all see? I'm using the boat. Because that represents travel for me. And I love travel. And then we have the two dice. Hopefully y'all can see. Because I don't know what to tell you. If this is going to work. Alright let's roll. This is for the first $250. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that is the second color. So right there, I'm going to write this down. We landed on a second color. So this is for January. And we're going to say we landed on a second color, which equals my savings. So this means $250 is going to go in my savings. Yay. I'm not mad at that. Now let's roll again. <laughs> three. <laughs> One, two, three. Oh, dang. All the money is going to my savings. Because we still on the second color. Oh, this is fun. I want to keep rolling. So $500, guys. All $500 is going to go to my savings. I thought I was going to land here. There we have it. So for the month of January, all $500 is going to go to savings. I'm going to annotate this in my every dollar app because I already have the $500 in the budget, but now I get to put exactly where it's going to go in the budget. So there you have it. Thank you all for playing with me. Let me know if you guys are going to play this too or some version of this. Again, I'm doing approximately $500 a month, but you guys can either follow the instructions on the board. Like for instance, when I first landed, that price on that property was $100. So you can play it like, okay, I'm going to put $100 toward whatever that color represents to you or you can say and then the second one was $120 so you can say I'm going to put $120 or you can do your own denominations if you know you want to save $2,000 in the year you can say all right everything is going to be worth $20 or you can say everything is going to be worth $100 Wait, I said $2,000 and I'm talking about some $20. But y'all know what I'm talking about. I don't know math. But the point is, y'all can come up with your own money values and what it represents. And you can divide this board up any way you want. And you could play this game. It's actually super fun. So until the next video, guys. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not a member of the Fun and Budget family and talk to me in the comments. I will meet you there. All right. Peace.